I knew you'd come. The door does work then. Why is it always my stuff that malfunctions? What's wrong with biometric scanners? Why can't we just have buttons like we used to have? Nobody else has a problem. Only you. It's always you. I never knew you had a tattoo. Yeah. What does it mean? It means ninja. Or something. It's from uh, ancient Japan. They had this warrior code and they had these like really secretive sect types. And they went round doing secret stuff. That's why it's not that well known and there's mariners and things, ancient mariners. You don't actually know, do you? No. I was born with it, but when I asked my mum what it meant, she just said it meant your way. You mean Yahweh, the unpronounceable name of God? No, I thought it meant I was special or something. I think you'll find it's the ancient Hebrew word for God, and it's actually unpronounceable. How can that be if you're saying it? Think about it. Because it's just an approximation. That's how it's written in the Hebrew. And that's how we say it. That's how it's pronounced. It's an approximation. How do you know all this? Because I've been studying it for years. And I've been chairing Bible study groups with the crew on B deck every week. That's very interesting. But. We're out here to scan planets and search for new life forms, which we've been doing for the past seven years, and we still haven't found so much as a bacteria in all that time. We're actually running out of places to go look. So it's looking like if there is something intelligent out here, it doesn't want us to find it. It could possibly be hiding from us. It might be our technology. That makes me a bit uneasy. I'd rather see it before it sees us. Yeah. Just in case. Bearing in mind what we've just been talking about. I wanted to engage all stealth protocols. Yeah. I want the silent running until further notice. Okay. I know we're not supposed to navigate through space without us beacons running, but Yeah. That's what I want and that's okay. the orders till further notice. Okay. Right? Yep. Yeah. Let's get on the way. Take off. Start main engines. Captain and I will join you on the bridge shortly. His glorious leaders on board. Number one, Callant. Set a course for the Wolf 359 system. Let's see what's there. Course laid in and set to navigation computer, Captain. Let's hope we find something this time. You know it's your fault we're here, Coxie. Because hundreds of years ago, some science geeks did some really hard sums and decided that because they were so clever and could do math so well, that the universe were going to be teeming full of life, in particular our galaxy would be full of it. And guess what? What have we found? 
Well, nothing yet, but we've still got this planet to scan, you never know. All right, yeah. I'll tell you what, Coxie, you've been at this for ages. Uh, why don't you take yourself a break? Go and get yourself a nice cup of coffee. Are you sure, Captain? It's quite complicated scanning every square kilometre of the planet's surface. <sighs> I'm captain of a starship. I think I know how to watch telly. Go on, get yourself off. Aye, aye, Captain. Thanks. Go on. <laughs> Auto scan on. Gabriel. Yes, Captain? Could you bring us a cup of coffee up to the bridge? I'm doing an extremely complicated planetary scan. It's really taking it out of me. Oh, Captain. Sounds awfully interesting. You must be very clever. I'll be up right away. Yeah, I am quite clever. Thanks. How did that planet scan go? Scan? Oh yeah. There were out there. Just a big rock. Right, there's nothing here. Check off. Plot a deorbital course. We're leaving. Aye, sir. Take off. Keep zigzagging our course. At random. Well, not too random. I meant, you know, the timing random. Not the course too random. I mean, we don't want to be going back where we've just come. And we don't want to get lost either. So, by random, I don't mean completely random. We've got to keep going in a certain direction. I think that much were obvious. Carry on. Aye, sir. Gabriel. Yes, Captain? I want some coffee. And Gabriel. Yes, Captain? I want the good stuff. I don't want the stuff out of that machine. Right away, Captain. Thanks. No drinks allowed on the bridge for obvious reasons. What if it gets spilt in the computers or anything? Come on, Callan. I'm captain of a starship. You trust me with that bit, don't trust me with a cup of coffee. I think I can handle it without spilling it. A coffee, Captain? Ooh. Just how I like it. Your bib? Shall I? <laughs> yes, please. My. Have you been working out, Captain? <laughs> yeah. 300 push-ups. Fresh out of bed. Oh, yes. I heard you were locked in your cabin. Yeah. There was a... sensor malfunction. Number one sorted it out. 
Well, it's your ever-changing physique, Captain. Your ever-increasing beefiness. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks for the coffee, Gabriel. You're welcome, Captain. Well, what's with the look, Callum? Oh, Captain, have you been working out? You look so beefy. You know, we shouldn't be silent running for all this time, really. What if somebody runs into us? There's not really much chance of running into anybody out here, is there, Callum? We're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, but there is a chance. No, we're staying silent running. Sorry, sir. Had to take evasive action to avoid collision with a ship. Take off. Where are you from? New Castleford, sir. We'll stop using that stupid accent. Sorry, sir. Call that ship. Hey, moron. What are you doing? You nearly killed us all. Sorry, I didn't detect you. You haven't got any running lights on. Listen, idiot. If you don't stop, I'm going to disable your engines. It's against the Space Traffic Act, Section 25, Brackets 1, Stardate 5560.3, for any military or police to fire upon non-combatants. Out here, I am the law. I see you wearing a bib. I do not wear a bib. I see you've wet your pants in the panic. I don't panic. I'm Captain Cool. You're Captain Quatermass. Don't correct me. It sickens me. And you can stop your ship. We're coming aboard. You've got yourself a ticket, mister. I'm not stopping. Fire a single warning shot above his ship. No can do. There's still a torpedo in tube. From the training exercise. Van Oz, sir. Right, take off. I'll handle that. It's launched. Torpedo away. Callan? You really shouldn't have done that. Whoa! It's missed his ship, but it's heading straight for planet in distance, than us. What planet? Just down that ship, take off. Aye, sir. Disable his engines, take off. Engines targeted. <laughs> 
Got him. Engines disabled. Lanos. Right, how long have we got until it hits the planet? Torpedo running time, approximately 77 minutes till impact. Uh, could we stop that torpedo by maybe reversing the polarity or something? Reversing polarity is impossible. Have you just made that up? Well, I like my orders to be obeyed. Well, I like my orders to actually be possible, sir. You should be obeying my orders no matter how insane or impossible. Right, we're going to send a raiding party over that ship. The marines are going to go and they're going to secure it. They're going to take the dock and they're going to erase his memory. Shouldn't be a problem. Science officer, tell me what's on board that ship. There's a crew of one. Unidentified animal, possibly canine. There's one forward-facing plasma cannon within the two megawatt range. Engines are emitting a large amount of plasma and they're going to need maintenance. There's no ship ID and the cargo bay is absolutely full of luxury goods. I'm 99% sure it's a space courier, sir. How do you know that? Well, it's white and it's all smashed up, sir. Hmm. Okay, well done. Cox, what's on that planet? An element 141 mine, sir. How many people? It's automated, sir. It's showing no signs of life. How much damage are we actually going to do if we hit that facility? Unknown, sir. Best estimate, probable total destruction of the mine facility. What's the worst that can happen? It's hard to estimate. If we hit the 141 storage, I'm not sure, but it's going to be bad. How bad? I don't think an element 141 and a quantum torpedo are going to be the best of it, sir. You and your negative waves, Coxie, nothing's going to happen. It's going to be fine. You and your massive... brain. No, it's going to be alright. Sergeant Munson. Yes, Captain Quartermass. I want you to get over that ship. Take the dock. Roger. Erase the pilot's memory. No firearms. We'll give him a right ass whooping. No beating him up either. Ah, oh, well, we'll only beat him up a little bit then. No, no beating him up at all. Do you reckon? <laughs> what a whopper that bloke is. Munson. I was proper looking forward Bloody to giving him a kick. I can hear you. He's gone soft in his old age. The con's still on. I, I, where is it? Here, I'll see thee. Who? What? I'm busy, Captain. What? Who? No, who? What? Who? What? Who? Who? You who? Who? Over and out. I'm going to come down. I'm going to come down and see you. It's going to be so much easier that way. Kowalski, I've got a, a question I've been meaning to ask. Hi. Have you ever been mistaken for a man? No. Have you? Oh, <laughs> the best. <laughs> this is going to be easier face to face. We're having a bad day here, Doc. I need you to go down the hangar, go over that ship, 
with the Marines and I want that pilot's mind erasing for all the time that we've had contact with him. Hmm, are you sure that's why as captain? It's a bit unethical. Don't talk to me about ethics. I know that you've been conducting experiments on the Marines. Those were very legal experiments, Captain Alfieldo. Doc, if they forget where the safety catches are one more time, I'm going to have you in the brig for the rest of the trip. Right, Kowalski, listen in. While we wait for the doc, we'll run over some weapons drills. Hi. You happy? Yeah. On the MG Mark 22. When Mr. Safety Catch yeah. is not applied yeah. to the MG Mark 22. Yeah. Go on. The MG Mark 22 is not our friend. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Nice one! Hey! Sergeant Munson. Yes, quartermaster. The call sign for this mission is Delta 15 Actual. You want to be called what? Delta 15 Actual? Isn't that a bit posy? I think that sounds <laughs> rather cool. What a wazzock. You know, in Roman numerals, that makes Div. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> What's with the look? Yeah, I've seen that look plenty of times before. I know exactly what that means. You don't have to even say anything. Yeah, it's always something you've done that causes that look. Everything's going to be all right now, anyway. I hope you're right, because we're in the... <sighs> right, so what do we do now? Know what we're doing. I mean, this little bit's over. I want you on that computer changing the ship's log. Delta 15 actual! Delta 15 actual, come in! What? Delta 15 actual! Put him on. We're in a right pickle here! What the bloody sent us to? I've come across a great lion, look at the state! Blood and stomach pills, Captain, what were you playing at? Help us out here, come in! Right, do what you can. Oh god! Are you alright? Aye. I'm a rape mess. It were, oh. it were horrible. Oh. oh. You've got a scar on your face. Have I? I miss crying. I'm going to have to sort this out. Yeah, I sure we got us new in a few days after that skin graft. I just wanted to tell you, you did a great job today. You pretty much saved everybody. I don't know how they'd have got back without your help. Dog, that face is so annoying. I mean, extraordinarily annoying. <laughs> <laughs>
right, Kowalski? Mm. You're treating you well. Mm. I'm lost without you. Mm. I need you out of here, you know. Mm. Right. Nice set. Mm. At ease. At ease. Mm. Thank you. How are you doing? Good job over there, both of you. Mm. Oh, thank you very much. Mm. Sorry about the uh, line. We, mm. we didn't detect it. It couldn't be helped. That's what our job is. Mm. Who'd expect a lion on a spaceship? Mm. Who'd have thought it, eh? Mm. Who'd have thought it? Impossible. Chin up, Kowalski. Mm. I've got you this. Mm. It's got pictures and everything. Mm. Have a look. Mm. Mm. Spot on, is that? You'll enjoy that, really. Mm. It's antique. Mm. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, careful. Sorry. Careful. Mm. 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 In a lot of pain. In a lot of pain, aren't you? Mm. <laughs> She's gone through some right action. Yeah, but look at this. Look at that. Oop. What am I looking at, sir? Got that... my hand trapped in a knife drawer. <laughs> How? Well, I lent on it. Yeah. <laughs> did it but, hurt? Yes, it did. Good. Good. Extremely painful. Mm. Oh. Mm. You know, don't you, look? Mm. Check that bad boy out. Can you see it? Oh yeah. I did that in... Alright. Stop fussing. Do you need any more pain medication? It's too crack isn't he? <laughs> I did that in training, that. Oh yeah. 30 mile or a death. Still passed. Quite nasty, that. Real man. Got on with it. You were there with me, weren't you, Kowalski? Well done, Kowalski! She can hear you, you know. Yeah, I know, but... She's all covered in bandages, I thought she might be. A bit muffled. Yeah. Let's <laughs> get this pillow puffed up. <sighs> Alright, is that enough? I think that's enough there, boss. Comfy now! How come you're here anyway? Just thought I was just checking. Make sure everything's all out. I'm a bit worried about you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a bit sad, really, but she'll get over it. What have you got on your mind? Callum's absolutely livid about the planet mm. getting blown up. Right. What do you think? To be honest, I thought it was. Uh, I thought it was absolutely amazing. Mm. Did you? Right. Did it you? Was awesome. Mm. 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 Hey. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> That's a bad hand, that you know. Yeah. That's what the lion bit. Mm. Yeah. Never mind. Them fingers will soon graft back on. We've got some good technology, haven't we? So you'll be oh, alright, Kowalski, yeah. you'll be alright. See you later then. See you later, sir. He's proper cat handed, isn't he? Can't believe that. At least you've got a good book out of him anyway. You'll be alright, won't you? Captain Quatermass, there's been a strange reading in the direction of the detonation. What is it now, Coxie? I don't want to wear any more bad news today. That's an order. No bad news. Go. Well, the space-time continuum's collapsing into its own probability field at a quantum level. Quantum? Blah, 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 blah. What's a quantum? Blah, 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 quantum, blah, 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 black hole, blah, 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 I'm so, so much pleasure than you, blah, 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 yeah, that's great, yep. Yeah. Thanks. Sounds good. Quickly. Callan's looking. Looks like he understood that. Yeah. Folder. No problem. I'll just have to find a really clever way of bringing the conversation round to her, telling me what that was about later. That should be easy. Almost looks like she likes me. Oh, I'm 
enough ready for that drink, mm. I can tell you. Hey, Bryony, I wanted to say, um, to ask you about the captain. What did you say to him on the bridge? You know, about this space rift thing? Because all he ever is is blah, blah, blah. <laughs> And I just know he's going to gear the conversation round to me telling him what you said. Uh, it's quite simple. Basically, the explosions collapse the fabric of space-time. It's very basic. Yeah, well, do you know, sometimes I wonder who runs this ship. I'll tell you something else as well. Did you see Gabriel on the bridge today? I know. Oh, she gets my gun. I know. She's such a flirt with the captain. Oh, and he laps it up like a... Oh, I don't oh, know. Yeah. She just drapes herself all over him and the captain's there like... Yeah, like a little... He loves it. She's like that with all the male crew. I know, she is really, really... I don't know what the word is. Well, she, she's there dolling herself up all the time with nails and, and blooming lipstick. And, then oh, and she, blue hair. You never see her do any work. I know, she just swans around she's the place. She's a lazy oh. And then he's there making eyes and oh, on. Oh. Bringing him coffee. Oh, I Captain. Could, I tell you what, I could give her a slap and not blink twice about it, and I, I could know, tell you. Too. She's such a flirt. Oh. If I could get a demoted down to one of the lower decks, I would. Oh, I definitely would have. I've empty bins. Oh, yeah, that'd be good, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah you know, Naffy. Oh, yeah. I'd be smashing. I'd and love it. to see you tipping out all the bin bags and getting it oh, on Oh, I itself. would, there, yeah. That'd ruin her nails, wouldn't Captain it? Captain wouldn't like her anymore, then, would he? Oh, I don't know. I don't Probably know. He would, wouldn't he? He likes anybody that flirts round him. Anyone with blue hair and. He thinks he's God's gift. He does, doesn't he? Oh, it does. I'm not getting that work done doing this, are yeah. we? Well, I'll see you later anyway. See you later. Bye. Ta -ra, bye. bye. In all our searching, the only thing we found that makes the emptiness bearable is each other. Okay, Dwayne, what just happened? What was that all about? I don't know, it just got out of hand. I mean, it happens sometimes. This is why you're supposed to just jump in and stop me, but he didn't. Are you blaming me? No, I'm not blaming you. It sounds like you're blaming me. I'm not blaming you. Well, do you think anyone's going to notice? Of course they'll notice it's gone. Plus there'll be a massive fuel shortage really soon. That was a joke. Well, have you got any idea what Coxie said? She needs fitting with subtitles. She might as well have been talking... ...some foreign language. I didn't understand a word of it. All I got was blah, 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 rift this. Blah, 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 dimension. You know I don't get that stuff. This is why I need you. Well, basically, you've torn a hole in space. Yeah, and? And that's it, you've torn a hole in space. If I start saying what Coxie said, you're not going to understand it, so you've torn a hole in space is the easy way. How bad is it? Pretty bad. Nobody even knows we're out here. At least I had the foresight. To be on silent running for the last three days before anything happened. What do you think I am? Stupid? What are you going to do then? Are you going to make a proper command decision or what? You want some orders? I'll give you some orders then. Get tech off to plot a course off the galactic plane away from all the traffic. I want to maintain complete radio silence. 
No active sensors, passive only. What do you think of them apples? Yeah, they're here. They've landed on a big cushion. Nice one, Callan. You went me that hard, my teeth came out. Oh yeah, let me have a look. Hey, yeah, Callan, I don't know where it is, but my face is really hurting round here this morning. It's that bad it's almost numb. Feels like something's hit me through night. And my mouth, it tastes like well, cat bab. Really? Maybe you're coming down with a virus or something? No, that can't be true. We're on a hermetically sealed and filtered atmosphere. Can't get a virus. Blah, blah, blah. I'm so much cleverer than you. I'm so much cleverer than you. I'm so much cleverer than you. Blah, blah, blah. I'm so much cleverer than you. Blah, blah, blah. So much cleverer than you. Blah, blah, blah. Science officer Cox. Go get me some coffee. That's you and Gabriel's job, and I'm very busy. Gabriel's busy doing really important things. Busy doing what? Flirting with all the male officers. That's an order, Cox. You're going to do something really mundane with that huge brain of yours. Alright then. I'll go put my gargantuan IQ to work making your coffee then, shall I? Yes, Captain. Coffee, Captain. Ooh, ta Listening to them? Listen to Sub Ether. Sub Wave band. Oh. Why? Well, I'll listen to it sometime. You hear some interesting things on it. You can hear some of the uh, sub light transmissions. Uh, I don't know what they're bouncing off, but they could be hundreds of years old. Really? But there's something new turned up since that riff got yeah. opened. Can I have a listen? Yeah. Sound so good. Oh, I don't like that. Good enough? Yeah. Me too.
might seem to be a song for you The one I wanted to write for you For you Little light Shining Little light Will guide Sorry to disturb you so late, Captain. Lee? It's, it's two o'clock in the morning. Can you join me in the observation this room? This better be good. I found something that's urgent. Urgent? Now, please. Right. Okay. I'll be right up. Just look at this. This has been picked up on the ship's monitoring system. This is on extreme magnification so it's poor resolution but you can still see it. Just watch closely. See that there? See it darken that star? Let's go back. I can see it. Can you see how it's coming into view and then going out of view, like it's fading in and out of reality, basically? Yeah. That does look like it's coming in and out, doesn't it? I've never seen anything like that before. Well, it could be a sensor ghost. It's definitely not a sensor ghost, I've done all the checks. Any idea what the distance is? It's definitely something out there. It could be cloaked. It could be far away or it could be really near. I haven't worked that one out yet, but there's something there. So there's no real way of knowing how far away it is just by looking? No detection, no plasma trails, no EM emissions, but there's definitely something out there. What else can you tell me about it? Why is it keeping its distance and not revealing itself? What does it want? Right, Lee, what do you think? What do you think we should do? Give me some options. Uh, a narrowband full spectrum sweep in the direction of the target. Ooh, wouldn't it be great if it were aliens and I made first contact? Oh, and they could have some really cool technology that I'm going to be gifted. That'll look good on my record. Like, something that we can't get. What's the coolest? Yeah, matter transportation. That'd be good on my service record. Ooh, yeah, and they're from a, a female only species because they've had a war with the male of the species. They're all really good looking, of course, to open repopulate the devastated species. 
I suggest we go up to the bridge and find out what we can as soon as possible. Yeah, okay. We'll do that. Bridge. 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 I've got a question for you. Mm. What made you look at that bit of space? Don't know really. I was doing a visual scan of the larger area and I heard a voice in my head saying stop there and zoom in. So I did. Isn't it strange that you actually found somewhere after a voice in your head told you to look at that particular little part of space? Oh yeah, but I somehow knew to do as the voice said. And I checked, and that's what I found. What do you think we're really looking at here then? I don't know for sure. I am sure it's not good. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't belong here. I've got a feeling we're going to find out why it is here though. I don't mind telling you I'm scared. Scared? I've never known you'd be scared before. Well I am scared. Because the first time I saw it I sensed something evil. We're going to walk onto that bridge like it's a normal day. Okay, I can do that. You really are scared, aren't you? at alert station red aye aye sir coxie i want you to scan sector x-ray 080 yankee 096 zulu 151 i want you to use the phased array and the pulse doppler radar systems narrow beams but full power work your way out from that coordinate until you find something use the ship's torch if you're after Aye, aye, Captain. The phased arrays detect an object approximately 5,000 kilometres away, Captain. I see it. That's great work, Coxie. Object is now 10 kilometres away. It's moved instantly. How did it do that, Coxie? It's not possible. But it's done it. Have you got a radar lock on it? I can't get a positive lock on it. There's no power signature being emitted from the object. That's two things it's done that's impossible now. H hold on, I'm getting a radio mission from the object. It wants to talk to us then. Put it on screen. I'm clutching. Look, let's focus on what's really important here. I'll have some coffee. I've matter transportation technology to gift to you. We had a war with the male of our species, our population is now dying out in need. Men. Come off. What are you doing? You don't believe it, do you? Well, it's perfect. I really will be famous. First contact with an alien and extra technology. I can write a book, well, you can write a book. We'll both be famous. It'll make us... The most dangerous thing you can do right now is go over to that ship. But it's perfect. It's too perfect. I'm not giving this up, but it's worth any risk. Oh, come on, think about it, Dwayne. It knows everything about us. 
Isn't it a coincidence that he knows all your hopes and dreams? It's exactly what you were telling me the other day, word for word, practically. Yeah? Yeah. You're not going over. I told you I was scared. How does this thing know all your desires and dreams? It isn't right. This thing knows everything. It's been with us all the time, unseen, and it's creepy. It's evil. It knows everything. Right. You reckon it's with us all the time? I know it is. What do you think it really wants? You, us, your crew, your ship, everything. One thing's for sure, it wants you. Right. Take off, load all the tubes, arm all the weapons. Get ready to fire at that ship when Cox has got a positive lock on it. What weapons, Captain? All that really expensive stuff. Aye, aye, sir. I can't get a positive lock on it. Take off. Yes, sir. Switch to manual control. Salvo fire in a pattern. Don't miss. Yes, sir. We've got it. Target smashed there, that knows. Boom! Back of the net, sucker. Someone's hit the ship, Captain. The main engines are shutting down. Turn the alarms off. Turn the alarms off. Turn the alarms off, you can't hear yourself speaking here. Somebody find out what's going on. Did we hit the alien ship? No, Captain. It's like we've missed completely. There's only residue from our weapons. There's no wreckage from the alien ship at all. Engineering. Taffy. Engineering extraordinaire. Taffy here. Taffy, is there a hull breach? There's no hull breach. Is life support functioning? Life support's still functioning. What's the power situation? I'll have the main reactor back online in about an hour, sir. Are the engines still functional? The engines will just work fine as soon as the main reactor is up and running. Is the coffee machine still working? It's okay, sir. The coffee machine's still working. Oof. Ah, good. The coffee machine's still working. Taffy, I want to contact Earth urgently. How long till we get long-range comms back? Three and a half. What? Not till tonight? No. Years. Years? The sub E for transmitter has completely vanished. We need a replacement, and nearest dry dock is three and a half years away, sir. How about reversing the polarity, if you thought of that? What? Reversing polarity is impossible. Have you just made that up? Well, I was just trying to be cool, Coxie. Well done. I don't think that sounds cool at all. Dwayne? Lee, ship ready to get underway? Yes, we are, Captain. We've got to find a way of contacting Earth, because I don't think we've seen the last of that alien. Mm. Or whatever it is. Yeah, I think you're right. That alien's got to be extremely dangerous. It keeps doing things that are impossible, but it's doing them. Moving instantly, unable to see it, unable to lock onto it with all our best stuff. And now it's surgically removed as sub ether transmitter without damaging anything else. Why? Why take the transmitter? It don't make any sense unless it just don't want us to contact Earth. And if it gets to Earth before we can warn them, God only knows what it can do. It'd be nice to have a really fast ship now. But we're over three years away. Standard RF radio signal is going to take the best part of two and a half years to get back to Earth at this distance. We've got to 
we've got to find a sub ether transmitter. It's the only it's the only chance of warning them. Well, the only chance I can think we've got is to go and find that pilot and use his sub ether transmitter to contact Earth. Yeah. That's a great idea. That's why you're in number one. Well, he did have a leaking plasma trail. We could scan for that, follow it, and hopefully lead us right to him. Big deal. We've got here, haven't we? Let's focus on what's important now. I'll have some coffee. How do you get on our screen without me letting you? Ah, you've come to me at last. Yeah, you probably won't recognise me. Uh, I'm a highly decorated space hero. I'm very modest about it, though. Um, plus we wiped your memory. I know exactly who you are. Captain Dwayne Jonah Quatermass. Call sign Delta 15 Actual or Div to your crew. I've never told anyone my middle name. And I've never told anyone mine. Oh, um, what's your name? I suppose it's something really cool, isn't it? Like, Steve Ace. Oh. You hit the nail on the head, my son. So? What's your name then? I'm not psychic, you know. So? Who are you then? Oh, Captain! What? Well, if you're wondering what happened when I was talking to that bloke, I suddenly just blacked out. Next thing I know, we're back on Earth. 
And it turns out that bloke was someone pretty special. Some kind of king. Callan explained it all to me. I still talk to him all the time. He's a pretty good bloke. Anyway, everything went well for a while. We had a proper hero's welcome. There were chat shows. Callan wrote a book. It was brilliant. Admiral Delaunig, somehow. I mean, I've no idea how, other than maybe the docks grasped me up. Got wind of me blowing that planet up. He tried to get me put in prison for, well, forever. But it turns out that bloke went to Delaunay and told him that he can't do that because he'd already paid. Paid for everything that I'd ever done wrong and everything that I was going to do wrong, so that's a bonus. Well, I did tell him that that planet got blown up by that demon that we met. But once they found out about me actually blowing it up, my story fell apart. Oh, yeah, before I forget, Callan told me that bloke's name was Jesus. Or Yeshua. Or something like that. I'd never really heard of him before. Didn't know anything about him. But I thought it was pretty good of him to pay for all them things I did wrong. Especially keeping me out of prison for... ever. Oh, and I forgot to tell you. When I blacked out on ship, I woke up in sickbay. My face was really, really sore. Mind you, at least this time, my mouth didn't taste a cat bab or anything like that. I spent some time in there with Kowalski and ended up marrying her. Doc did a really good job on reconstructive surgery on her face. Couldn't believe the difference in her. All right, Dwayne. All right, Kowalski. Just I want a cup of coffee. I think I've had enough coffee. Watching the storm start to fall